I'm Carrie. And we are two girls in a great big world. Today we are here at Come and See Farms with Gail and Melissa. So we're gonna get ready to go on a short tour. What can you tell us about what Come and See Farms is? Gail. Okay, so Come and See Farms started about four years ago. Our idea was that we were going to uh, provide opportunities for kids in the special education program. And sometimes things change and shift. And we've gone through several manifestations. Now we um, do a garden club mostly at the Bridgman Public Schools. And we have 50 kids in the elementary school. We have 17 kids at the middle school and we're very excited about that. And we also, out here at the farm, do summer camp programs. We're very excited about being able to provide opportunities for kids and for families to understand what um, simple farming and what growing their own food could really look like. This is our house and we're yet doing permaculture. We, we grew some cucumbers right up next to the house on a trellis because I just discovered that they grow better if you keep them off the ground or they're healthier. Um, One of the that. things that we we love in the center of our yard right now is the mammoth sunflowers um, that we have. It provides food for the birds um, throughout the year <laughs> um, and for the chickens and so um, the third grade classes from uh, Bridgman Elementary helped us plant um, those sunflowers so it was um, a giving back opportunity for the kids to understand that um, not only does it provide beauty, but it provides um, continuous food for the birds. And we're going to move right up next to the house. Just on giving. Um, one of the principles of permaculture is that in zone one or close to your house, you grow things that you want to access frequently. So this is hyssop in the back. Lemon balm, which is Latin and it's Melissa officinalis. And so since Melissa lives here in the house, it's her official plant. Um, we've got some parsley growing here. We've grown some basil this year. Some of our basil we've already harvested. Um, we grew some uh, Tulsi basil. That basil over there is Thai basil, the mm, one with the purple flowers. Ooh. This large plant here uh, is stevia, and it's there. Is it? This this tall thing. Oh. If you can reach it, Emma. Um, this here? Pull, yeah, pull off a leaf and smell it. You could taste it. Yep. <laughs> you can buy it in the grocery store, stevia. Uh, it's a sweetener. It's very, very sweet. Uh, right behind it, this plant here is uh, lemon verbena. And I just love it because it is so, so lemony. Okay. It smells good. Mm, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> We've got sage. This is sage. And um, the Melissa plant this year outdid our time, so we lost our time. So we have no time. There's some sage. Yeah, that has a leaf is like, like the other leaves were like stiffer, but like a small limb. Mm -hmm. like so that's like what you put in your turkey stuffing and sage. Thanksgiving's coming up, make me hungry. Yep, so that's our little herb garden and as every garden around here, it always needs a little bit of attention. And <laughs> so we'll, we'll be getting to that and drying some of these herbs that are in here. Well, one of the things we learned from walnuts is that it's a natural um, uh, dewormer for our pig, Christine. Right, so that. Cool. that was a healthy way for us to de keep her deworm. So we're back in the chicken coop. Goldie here. 
How many chickens do you guys have out here? We have about 35 chickens out here. 35 chickens and three roosters. Oh, that's super cool. So they obviously provide you with a lot of eggs. So what do you do with all the eggs? Um, well, we have less eggs than one would think because so, some of our girls are a little old because we don't call our flock. So they're just here. Uh, in, when they're producing in the summertime, we get about a dozen eggs a day, maybe a dozen to 15 eggs a day. We uh, sell them or we share them. Um, I, I'm just, a, I love chickens now, so I could have chickens and just have chickens and be quite happy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why don't we go take a look at their coop? Okay. Yeah. Alright, where are we now? We are in the Come and See Farm Barn. With all of our Come and See Barn animal friends. <laughs> Let's go and meet everybody. Okay, who's this? This is Christine. She is about, uh, I think she's going on four years. Um, and she's a, a pig that my son bought for Gail and I. And um, because we were so broken hearted when they would leave to go to the fair, he bought one for us so we could keep, them as a pet, keep her as a pet for the, um, for the farm. And so we've had her almost going on four years now. And her name is Christine. Mm. She's a good girl. She is a good girl. She likes scratches and she squeaks when you scratch her. Sometimes. So what does Christine like to eat? Christine eats regular uh, swine food. She also eats um, some vegetable table scraps and apples and she loves to eat pumpkins and she loves squash and there's pretty much no vegetable that Christine will eat. And every animal in this barn loves ginger snap cookies. <laughs> but they only get one a day because they're cookies. <laughs> All right, so here we got who? These are, this is Buck and Snort. Um, that's Buck. This is Snort. And his name is Snort because when you open the door in the morning, he snorts. <laughs> and they're really friendly and really kind to the kids. Um, sometimes when we've had the kids out here, we just let these two out. And, Kids like to run around and chase them, and they really don't mind all that much. Hmm. Of course, they have those wonderful handles on the top. <laughs> Actually, very gentle. They are very, are they are very gentle boats. Nice boys. Right. Jump down a stall. We've got cherry pie, the princess of the barn. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely the princess. She also is incredibly good with children. She um, she never bites, she never kicks. Um, she's trying to break out though. She's uh, probably hey. looking for her supper, uh, anything that, that she can eat. She eats um, just about one slice of hay a day, um, plus any bits of Frankie's food that she can get her little snout on. <laughs> yeah, mischievous. And she begs by stomping her hoof. <laughs> or, and she also goes ee -aw, ee -aw, very loudly when she's hungry or when she thinks she missed out on something that everybody else got. Oh boy. We'll jump down to why I personally love the most. Yeah. I like you're not supposed to have favorites. I don't have favorites, but look no at favorite. him. <laughs> it's Frankie. Oh, He's made an appearance in one of our other videos. Whoa, Frankie. So this is post-fair Frankie. But he thinks he's two. Frankie. We love he has our a Frankie. big tongue. Oh, yeah. Fun Very fact, if you did tongue. not know, their tongues feel like sandpaper. He doesn't know who to lick. And they can lick their nose with their tongues. Mm. I got Frankers. And then the gang of goats. 
So who are these guys? This is this is Neeson. Neeson. And he's mostly Nubian. This is Pete here, and he's mostly Sanan. And he bites sometimes. And uh, this is Fergie, and he's mostly a boar. Not that he's boring. That's Cut. his breed. He's a boar. Cut. And over there, laying down, because he's always the bottom of the totem pole around here, that's Pal, and he's an alpine. And Emma and Karen, um, when we started getting the larger animals, these were the first of the larger animals that we had on the farm. Yeah. Goats as a um, good animal for uh, kids to try out as a farm pet because they're curious and they're friendly and for the most part they're gentle and um, they're just fun. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This production has been brought to you by Two Girls in a Great Big World.